of the New Jersey crash, Rhode Island Senator Jack Reed wants to bring more attention to rail safety across the nation. And today, he met with transportation officials in Providence to discuss how to make train travel safer. Eyewitness News reporter Rosie Woods continues our local coverage now from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Senator Reed met with the press here this morning at the Providence station. He's pushing his belief that it's time to get rail safety back on track. Just one week after the catastrophic train derailment in New Jersey, U.S. Senator Jack Reed is continuing to push for improved rail safety. There's been some uh, technical issues, some financial issues, but uh, right now we have laid down a much firmer line that by the end of 2018, positive train control should be in place on all commuter rails and all major railroad systems in the country. So Rhode Island, in fact, as far back as 2000, we've had positive train control in place. Last year, Reed supported the FAST Act, which authorized $199 million in fiscal year 2017 for safety technology to be implemented in commuter rails like the Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority. Now, Reed tells Eyewitness News he's continuing to meet with transportation officials and urging enhanced safety measures as well as increased track inspections for our national rail system. Specifically, he highlighted the need to accelerate the adoption of positive train control. The system monitors the train automatically. It can actually intervene and override the control. It, it can monitor the train. If the train is operating normally, it allows it to move along. If there's an aberration, it can go ahead and essentially shut the train down, slow it down, and, sit and protect the passengers. As of now, we're told there's more than $30 billion available from the Department of Transportation for loans for PTC and other rail safety improvements. With the Mobile News from Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News.